Hi guys, I've been planning on doing an alternatives video for Killian's Angel's Share fragrance for a while now because you guys have been asking me. So better late than never, I've got a video for you today with 10 alternatives plus one bonus as well. So Angel's Share came out in 2020, but I don't think it was the first fragrance of its kind when it was launched. But I'm gonna tell you all about Angel's Share and then also give you 10 alternatives. As I said, some of the alternatives don't smell like Angel Share, similar idea. There's several that really do smell like Angel Share and I'm gonna let you know all about it coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian. Yes, today we're talking about alternatives to By Killian's Angel Share. Came out in 2020 along with another fragrance called Roses on Ice. I do have to say that Killian does do gourmand fragrances and boozy fragrances really well. Uh, and they smell really fantastic, but my issue with the brand is they're kind of very thin fragrances. They don't really perform very well. But uh, overall, as smell, they're really, really fantastic. And I really do enjoy Angel Share. I just wish it was more beefier. Maybe they'll come out with an extreme version uh, like they came out with some of their other fragrances. Who knows? But um, it is a delicious fragrance. But as I was saying earlier, it's not the first of its kind. And that's why I'm doing this alternatives video. Because Angel Share is very, very popular. And when I was looking it up on databases and you know uh, online shops, I noticed that there were multiple versions of this particular fragrance. in you know, like we're anniversaries and, you know, bottled with the celebrity names and things like that. So makes sense that this is a very popular fragrance. It's gourmand and it's boozy as well. So it features notes of cognac, cinnamon, praline, tonka beans, vanilla, sandalwood, and oak. So it is that kind of gourmand fragrance that reminds me of not only Ombre Narguile from the House of Hermes, but also Wajan from the House of Parfums and Marley. So Ombre Narguile came out in 2004, and I believe Wajan came out in 2012. I could be wrong with the date, because the only date I checked was when this came out, which I remember, height of the pandemic at the end of the year in 2020, and then uh, Hermes' uh, Ombre Narguile, which came out in 2004, created by uh, the uh, master perfumer uh, Jean-Claude Elena. So, What's the difference between Ombre Narguile and Angel Share? As I was saying, this is a boozier take on something like Ombre Narguile. And Ombre Narguile is inspired by the, the hookup uh, pipes that uh, are, you know, smoked in the Middle East with that kind of like fruity and kind of warm um, smells that are in the tobacco. And that's what uh, Ombre Narguile is all about. But in the end, it's kind of an ambery gourmand. And basically, Killian has taken it into the boozy direction and made it kind of delicious, a bit caramel a little bit fruity, apple-y. And then of course, they've got the cinnamon in here, which is prominent in both fragrances, the Hermes and also in the um, Angel Share. And so they've made it a little woody, creamy, uh, fruity, and boozy. It's really, really delicious. Just a little on the thin side, as I said. But I think most people really love this. And also the presentation is really wonderful. As you can see, it's kind of like a liqueur, really, really high-end liqueur glass. Uh, that's the way the bottles are. Sadly, the bottles kind of do uh, become not very tight, you know, when you keep using it, obviously. They are refillable uh, bottles, which is kind of cool. And the other thing about Angel Share is there's also the big carafe uh, you can buy, uh, which is, I think, 200 milliliters. It could be 250. I think it's 200. Uh, I, I could be wrong. But either way, they're beautiful, kind of like very liqueur, like high-end liqueur-like presentation, which I really love about Killian because they do really do a, a nice job with their presentation. And the fact that they've been doing this kind of presentation for a while I feel like they really do focus on boozy fragrances currently there's four fragrances in this collection that are all inspired by liqueurs I believe all of them should be fairly boozy with uh, Angel Share and Apple Brandy on the rocks being the booziest anyway those are my thoughts on Angel Share let's go ahead and talk about Ombre Narguile next because I fear I feel like Ombre Narguile is the first fragrance of its kind like this in this genre that basically started uh, this genre. Uh, and I should say, this is a new bottle which I just featured in a haul video and one of you were asking me if I noticed the difference between this and the last version I had. I do have a little bit left in my last bottle. I didn't bring it here to uh, show it off, but I was uh, spraying it recently. And I do notice a difference. I feel like the reformulation on the latest bottle, there's something sharp up top with this one when you first spray it. I feel like they 
they've amped up the woods and it creates a kind of a screechy sharpness. It's not that kind of coziness that I really liked in this originally. Now I was kind of dissing this fragrance for a while, but recently I was sampling a bunch of them over at Bloomingdale's where they carry the whole entire Hermesens collection here in San Francisco and I was really enjoying them. And the reason I was dissing this particular uh, collection and this fragrance uh, specifically is because they're eau de toilette concentrations and I don't get very good longevity. They're kind of thin, they're kind of uh, transparent. Very thin fragrances, but really great fragrances. But you know what, I've kind of come to realize that it's not all about uh, the performance for me and so I've kind of uh, embraced the collection once again and perhaps you'll see videos uh, from the line but um, they're very thin fragrances sadly and I was waiting for them to update their collection to Eau de Parfums which they never did but it's a fragrance that I've loved for a while I discovered it in 2012 about 10 years ago it features amber toasted seeds honey but for me I also get loads of cinnamon rum caramel tonka vanilla vanilla and a bit of tobacco in here. Really, really delicious. And yes, it has gone through a bit of a change. Sadly, it is noticeable. I've noticed it. Thank you for bringing that up, uh, whoever you are. I forgot your username. Uh, but uh, if you uh, are new to Ombre Narguile, it is very, very pricey. Maybe perhaps sampled it in a store. Um, here in San Francisco, you can go to Bloomingdale's as they have the whole collection, or you can go to the Hermes Boutique and they, you can sample it there as well. Uh, they are thin, that's the only problem. These are eau de toilette fragrances, and that's kind of what I like about Angel Share. It's thicker, even though I always say it's kind of like not the um, heaviest or dense fragrances. And then, you know, after this, we got another fragrance because uh, for me, I discovered um, this one right here, Wajan. And Wajan is the thicker version of Ombre Narguile. I don't think they're the exact dupes of one another, but really will remind you of one another because they do smell alike. For me, Wajan is also thicker and denser, and I always mention that it kind of reminds me of um, baklava. It's kind of like that honey drizzled, doughy paste and uh, cinnamony, spicy kind of a combo. And Wajan is cinnamon, honey, tonka beans, benzoin, osmanthus, vanilla labanum. And with this one, there is a little bit of a fruitiness here. It's that osmanthus, it's the flower that not only has these leather accords, but also a fruity kind of like stone fruitiness. So there's definitely a little bit of a fruitiness here all under there to create, a, you know, that really delicious combination of a very yummy dessert. Uh, between the three that I've spoken about so far, I feel like Wajan is the longest lasting and, and um, the thickest version of it. But as I was saying with the Killian, they've taken Wajan and Ombre Narguile into the boozy direction, which you don't get with the Ombre Narguile and the Wajan, you definitely get with the Angel Share. So hopefully uh, Killian will launch an extreme version of Angel Share. I'm assuming they will because I think they do that with their most popular fragrances and I feel like Angel Share is very, very popular. All right, so I'm gonna go to the fragrance Latafa Perfumes Hamra next. This one right here, totally inspired or duped or copied by Killian's uh, Angel. Um, so the, they made it square, obviously, not to make it a complete dupe, but Latafa does a lot of dupes. Uh, I've got a video coming out very soon. I'll let you all know all about it. But for this particular fragrance, I thought that it would be very close to Angel Share. For me, it's not. Absolutely not. I was testing it a few times. I wore it just a few times because I just featured it in, an, in a haul video. If you haven't caught that, go catch it. Uh, this particular fragrance to me smells like a cheap alternative to Angel Share. I don't recommend it, but I mean, sometimes the Latafa fragrances are also not necessarily very expensive. This one was the most expensive Latafa I bought. I thought it was around 60 some dollars. I can't remember exactly the price, but it also seems very woody and definitely has that Middle Eastern edge to it with the kind of the notes and ingredients they use. So I'm not going to recommend it, but you can try. It's cinnamon, dates, vanilla, tonka beans, praline, nutmeg, bergamot, benzoin, amber wood. So what I'm, what I'm saying about this particular fragrance is that even though the inspiration is there for Angel's share. To me, it doesn't smell like it. It's mostly the idea is there to remind me of a similar idea, but to me, I don't get, it's not similar is what I should say. It just doesn't smell like Angel's share. Just the idea is there. So if they're kind of like trying to copy Angel's share with Hamra, uh, I don't think they did a good job with it. 
But if you are looking for something that might remind you of a fragrance like Angel Share, then I would say try La Tafa Perfumes Hambra. So that's my report on that one. I might not talk too much more about that particular fragrance. I have it here uh, and uh, I might bring it up in, a, in another video here and there. But for now, I don't think I'll be talking much about that because I was not very happy with that particular fragrance. For me, it smells like a cheap alternative to uh, Angel Share and I wish I didn't pay that much money for it. I was hoping uh, the price would be closer to like $29, $40, uh, somewhere around there, rather than like almost $75 for that. So moving on to the next fragrance, we're going to the house of uh, Atar collection. This is Khaltat Night, this one right here, another Arabic sounding name. We've got uh, Khamra here, and this is Khaltat Night. Hey, I did grow up in a, a Middle Eastern country, so I know my ch very well. So Khaltat Night to me is a cherry take on something like the Ambre Narguile, the Wajan, and the Angel Share. So if you like the idea of cherries with Angel Share's booziness, you definitely need to try the uh, Khaltat Night. Also, this is not a very expensive fragrance, and it's also pretty long-lasting for me, and that's what I like about it. So it features cherries, cinnamon, vanilla, red apples, patchouli, and and a bunch of other notes to give you that kind of like warm, gooey, syrupy, ambery, and very, very warm, spicy combo of notes to kind of remind you of Wajan and uh, Ombre Narguile and Angel Share, plus the addition of the fruits in here, the cherries, of course, which is pretty prominent, and then, of course, the red apples, which the other fragrances kind of remind me of, you know, featuring the apple note in there as anyway. This, I think, is around $130 for 100 ml. It's a good price, and I do agree that it's a great alternative to Angel Share, especially if you're looking for something a little more playful, because I find cherries and fragrances to have a kind of a very fun and playful vibe. So, Atar Collection's Khaltat Night is uh, the fourth fragrance I'm talking about today. All right, next fragrance, going to the house of Olfactive Studio. Do you guys know this house? This is a fragrance called Close Up, a fragrance created by Anik. Monardo. It's a wonderful take on the whole Angel Share fragrance, but also reminds me of Ombre Narguile, it reminds me of Wajan, it reminds me of Farah, and it also reminds me of Khaltat Night because Close Up features notes of cherry just like Khaltat Night. But for me, it's not necessarily a cherry bomb. Khaltat Night, you can totally experience the cherry. Here, it adds a bit of a fruitiness to the mix, not necessarily highlighting the cherry Per, like 100%. But the fragrance features notes of white tobacco with tonka beans. There's cherry, as I mentioned. Lots of spices with coffee, amber, musk, and patchouli. But what's different about this one in comparison to the other fragrances, and none of the fragrances I'm gonna talk to you about today features this, there's definitely a very fuzzy muskiness about this one kind of taking uh, the fragrance into the direction of like authentic deer musk. I don't know if they're using something in here to create a light animalic quality, but I really, really love the way this one smells. And to me, it makes for a bit of an interesting gourmand where you have those gourmand notes that will remind you of Angel Cher, but there's that underlying f muskiness, very fuzzy. Like, just imagine you have a cat in your lap and you're kind of like petting that hair on the, the cat and they've got this purring thing going on. And that's the kind of experience I get with this one. Just think Angel Share with that cat, the fuzz and the musk and everything like that. It's a really, really great take on uh, Angel Share, but for me, it's its own unique thing where it reminds me of those fragrances, but you've got that musk added to it. it makes for a very sexy wear. So close up with a great name from the House of Olfactive Studio. And if you don't know Olfactive Studio, it is um, a house focused on photography. Uh, this is not a rank list, I'm just giving you options. The next one I'm talking about is uh, from a, a fragrance house called Breakor. Breakor Paris, this is Farah. This one right here. When I first started reviewing fragrances, I knew about Wajan, I knew about Ombre Narguile, and this was the third alternative to that kind of a fragrance. And it used to be called Haram uh, before they changed the name to Farah. Um, so Haram and Farah are totally different uh, words. Uh, those of you that are Middle Eastern or Arab speaking, you would know what Haram means. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but that's what they used to be called. So this one features notes of dates, cinnamon, honey, benzoin, tonka beans. It is really delicious. For for me, it's not. It's kind of drier. So taking Wajan and making it a drier fragrance because Wajan to me is much drier than Ambre Narguile and definitely not as syrupy as Angel Share. Here we've got much drier take on that kind of a fragrance, but you do experience the cinnamon. It's really there. It's really prominent. The dates adds more of a dryness to the 
fragrance. And they've got the tonka beans and benzoin in here and the honey uh, to create a kind of a gourmand, once again, that kind of baklava uh, take on, uh, you know, fragrances. So really delicious. Uh, check it out if you don't know what it is, a really yummy fragrance and might not be as easy to get here in the States. But those of you that are in Paris, I think I still see the brand at uh, Javoy. Uh, great fragrance, Brecor Paris Ferra. So moving on to another fragrance that I featured in the haul video recently. I guess I bought these fragrances to do this video. I specifically purchased them. This is from the house of Boucheron. It's Ombre de Alexandre, this one right here. So this particular collection is not ever made it to I don't think it ever made it to the USA. I'm not 100% sure, but definitely didn't make it to San Francisco Bay Area stores because I saw it for the first time in actually in Spain, or maybe it was Lisbon, I can't remember, somewhere in the, that part of the world. And I thought, okay, this is a pretty nice collection. How come I never see them there? But you know, I get them at the discounters for fairly inexpensively, and I've got this one here now, and I also have the Oud one, the Oud one created by Dominic Ropion. But this is a great take on something like Angel Share, Ombre Narguile, and also Wajan. But for me, this one is a little more syrupier in comparison to the dryness of Wajan and Fera from uh, Brecor. It features notes of Cistus Resin, Amber Accord, Creamy Vanilla, Benzoin, Amber Gris, and Musk. It's really delicious. It kind of also hints at a little bit of um, Ombre Nuit from the house of Dior, but for me, more of uh, Ombre Narguile, Wajan, and Angel Share. No booziness in this one, but I find that it's kind of got that thick, gooey, creamy, um, molassesiness that uh, Angel Share has, but a thicker take on that rather than the thinness that I experience with uh, Angel Share and Killiam fragrances in general. Now, I have to be honest, I think I already mentioned it, the, uh, the fragrances from uh, Hermes are very thin, very, very thin, much thinner than the, you know, the Killian fragrances because they, those are eau de toilettes. But here we've got a nice gooey, kind of a sticky, um, sweet uh, take on uh, something like uh, a cross between Wajan and Ombre Narguile. Angel share as well, but no booziness. So this is Ombre de Alexandre from the house of Boucheron. Uh, moving on to the house of Kayali. This one I did not feature in my haul video and I just picked it up as well. One once again for this particular video and I also want to dig into this house. I've been bringing uh, clients in here to do sniff sessions in the studio and um, they've been some of my clients that were in here were asking to smell Kayali fragrances. So this is the second of uh, two Kayali I have. I have the cherry one and according to the the fragrance it says it's an it's an intense uh, version of, uh, of their fragrances. So it's a much more intense version. So this is Invite Only Amber 23. It features amber, oud, tobacco, honey, black cherry, vanilla, benzoin, amber resin, cipriol, and musk. A lot of stuff is going on and it's definitely a thicker take on something like, um, uh, you know, Angel Share. But for me, I don't get much of the booziness in here. I, I, I would relate it to more of Wajan and Farah uh, and maybe even the Amber Ombre de Alexandre from Boucheron, but for me, this definitely has an oodiness and a bit of smokiness in here, not only from the tobacco, but also from that Cipriol. But you know, it's you know, I would say it's got some booziness. I shouldn't say it doesn't have booziness, but for me, it is quite a delicious take on that whole DNA of fragrances smelling like Wajan, Ombre Narguile, Angel Share. And uh, I think they've done a great job with it. Just takes it into more of a, you know, smoky, uh, darker place rather than going full on gourmand. It's more of an amber, and I find it to be a little much darker than um, the Ombre de Alexandre from Boucheron. But I think, like I said, it's, it's a job well done, and I'm quite happy with this particular fragrance and I want to dig into Kayali even further. So perhaps while I'm in the UK, uh, I will buy a few fragrances from there and bring them back and do a video like a like a top five video or something. But if you guys know this uh, invite only Amber from the house of Kayali, do let me know, put a comment down and also let me know which fragrances I should check out from that brand. I know I want to check out the vanilla for sure. But moving on to the house of Gallagher fragrances, this is Rosé All Day. This one right here, do you guys know this one? This is a great alternative. It'll remind you of uh, the whole DNA of uh, Wajan, Ombre Narguile, Angel Share, but definitely it goes into a rosy direction and also highlighting the apple in here. It's definitely very apple crisp uh, forward and got that fruitiness and a doughiness in here as well. It's quite delicious and definitely one of my favorites from this house. Really yummy creation in the end. It's featuring notes of apple crisp, honey, brown sugar, patchouli, plum, metallic notes, rose, vanilla, lapdanum, tonka. And once again, this 
this is kind of like a rose gourmand, kind of in that the you know uh, side or DNA of uh, wajan like fragrances or ombre nargile nargile like fragrances. But it is Gallagher fragrances, so you know that you're going to have something quite intense here uh, for a fragrance. So Gallagher fragrances, rosé all day, really really yummy uh, alternative to Angel Share from the House of Killian. And then when we go down the list to the top of the list, the fragrances are less and less going to remind us of Angel Share. But I think this one does as well. For me, this one also kind of reminds me of Angel Share, but also something like Herod from. Uh, um, Parfums of Marley. This is Divine Vani from the House of Essential Parfums. This is also a fairly inexpensive fragrance. It's tonka beans, benzoin, cinnamon, osmanthus, tobacco dried fruits, cedarwood, patchouli, and musks. Yeah, you've got that kind of reminder in here of something like Wajan. Uh, but you also have that reminder of something like Herod in here, but you know you do have that uh, the touches of angels share in here It's a little drier not as syrupy or, and not necessarily as gourmand as some of the other fragrances And you also have a textural experience in this one You can uh, feel the dryness and the chunks of notes that are in here But you know it is a great fragrance for the price It's my favorite fragrance from essential parfums and definitely a great alternative to something like angel share Or if you want something that's in between Wajan and Herod tried Divine Vani from the House of Essential Parfums. And the last fragrance I want to talk to you about could be kind of a, an off the wall kind of a fragrance that can, can be an alternative to Angel Share it is from the House of Boys 1920. It's a Sushi Imperial. So this is cinnamon with apple, but it doesn't mention that there's an apple note. I get apples in this one, like baked apples, but with lots of citruses. It's cinnamon, mandarin orange, vanilla sandalwood, tonka beans, nutmeg, pepper, rose, lemons, and bergamot. It's a fresher take on something that might hint at Angel Share or Ambre Narguile or Wajan. Very, very fresh. It's also an eau de toilette, but sometimes you want that kind of like sweet, gooey, uh, fruity uh, dessert uh, reminder when you're wearing, uh, you know, mostly summery fresh fragrances, in which this one also has because you've got Got that contrast of fresh notes like the citruses with warmer notes like the cinnamon and nutmeg and reminding you of like a citrusy gourmand but it's quite delicious something that's a little more distant to remind you of Angel Share versus something like uh, you know the Ambre, the Alexandri, or the Kaeli Invite Only Amber. But either way, this is Sushi Imperial from the House of Boys 1920. That is not smelling like sushi, by the way. Weird name, great smell. But that's all. That's all I have for you today. Those are the 10 fragrances that are great alternatives to Angel Share from the house of Killian. Have you tried these fragrances? Have you compared them? Are you still sticking with Angel Share from Killian? Do you enjoy it? How does it perform on you? Do you get great longevity with it? Or is it pretty short-lived? Let me know. Put a comment down so I can find out. I know I have to say it again. For me, the fragrances are not very long-lasting from Killian, but they have some of the most amazing fragrances. They do smell great. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. So I've got two bonuses here also that are not very close to smelling like Angel Share, but I wanted to highlight them just in case you want something completely different. So the first one I'm going to talk to you about is 1270 by the House of Frappan. So 1270 does have booziness, it does have fruitiness, it also has plums and dried fruits and things like that, but it also has spices, vine flowers, raisins, nuts, honey, vanilla, and woods. So it's a very distant alternative, not smelling at all like Angel Share, but I think it would be a great alternative for you to try. This is for Pan 1270. You should try it. Maybe you have tried it and let me know if you like it. And then last but not least, I am going to offer this one as well. This one is very distant, reminds me of uh, Wajan or something like Wajan. This is from the house of Robert Piguet. It's Knightsbridge. This is also probably going to be very difficult for you to get, but it's quite delicious. It features notes of orris, tonka, rose, sandalwood, leather, and nutmeg. Every time I wear it, it reminds me of a rosy take on uh, something like Wajan. So less gourmand, less sweet, but lots of orris. It's very powdery and also definitely lots of tonka and has a kind of bitter almondy touch as well. Really a great fragrance. It's an exclusive fragrance to Herod's. Herod's exclusive as you can see over there. I bought this about uh, three years, four years ago when I 
went to London uh, and I'm glad to have it uh, and it's sad it's a it's a bit of a challenge to get this one but if you can if you're visiting definitely go over there and sample it because uh, to me it reminds me a little bit of Wajan not so much Angel's Share but since they're kind of all related I felt like highlighting it here anyway Knightsbridge from the house of Robert Piguet is the last and final alternative to Angel's Share from the house of Killian.